Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm lost in the book, you know, I mean, it's so just like that, ah, uh, the Ugandan tells, oops, 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 yes, uh, let's do the quick read, page 117, uh, it's just a random pick, you know, you know, they are poems, it's all, something that tickles the fancy is what you start with anytime, the book, once it's in your hands, you just rummage through and uh, see, Depending on how you do your reading, but uh, my reading and my tech is uh, it's with a spin. Puritan, page 117. Puritan, treatment for allergic reactions and skin rashes. Puritan. I used to take Puritan a lot, didn't I? Let's lower this volume here. Man. that develop as a side effect to chloroquine treatment for malaria and other ailments. Periton renders the patient lethargic and sleepy. Periton, the label given to dull students and teachers engaging in boring conversations at school by other students. Periton, the memories come alive when he rambles on in his addresses and press conferences about Miami, my oil, 9th Battalion commandos and threatens to crush them. So I think this is more or less like a, a satire, a political satire. Periton, 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 medication renders you lethargic. And sleepy. So I don't know what you make of this and how we kind of understand this. You know, is the country at sleep? Are people docile? Are they under medication or sedation? <laughs> so uh, you know, this is pretty much a deep talk. You know, the conversation would linger around. The use of Periton as a subject or an object. So, my understanding limits me to what I understand. If I give it a political context, it would uh, be more like. Are you living on borrowed time? Is it about medication? If, say, I, I've been diagnosed with cancer. That means I'm sick. I'm in fear. I worry a lot. So I'm on medication for whatever I have to do. I have to see my doctors. So, Periton, going back, and father at school by other students it was in conversation with the reference to that label given to Dao teachers and students Dao teachers and students docile you know you are within your elements comfortable probably shy of everything you know what I mean you you might not be limited to that alone. It could be even probably docile. You harbor everything within yourself. But that can be to many reasons, especially now using the fact that there's spiritual involved. <laughs> spiritual. What I can remember a long time ago, and now this is Pretty much a very bad habit of self-medication. Self-medication, not self-meditation. If you meditate, you're trying to discover yourself, your inner self, your inner thoughts. Spiritually, morally, or ethically, you know what I mean? But with medication, 
with medication. You're trying to escape to dodge the bullet. The <laughs> you know what I mean? So the, it's scary. So and now uh, bringing it down to the last stanza where kind of the punchline. Memories come alive when you're on medication. You know, Puritan, the memories come alive when he rambles on in his addresses and press conferences about Miami, my oil, 9th Battalion. So these are all references to authority and power. My oil, my wealth, I'm rich, my money. Say like I can say I'm a billionaire, so everybody would pretty much know what I'm. I am, you know, I'm a billionaire. Nagagawebulaya. Keguso in a sente, Keguso, what to the cow, no, what Keguso. Send us on the Namuchara, oh, you know, you're eating your money. Right, right, anyway, so one on, one on seven, page one, one, seven. Puritan. There we are, guys. I got you. I got you. So, the conversation is beginning. You know, this is the early stages of it, and uh, pretty much it's warming me up to my thinking that uh, it's going to be a process. Here we go. Uh, I'm enjoying the book, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, if you if you have the copyright now, just go to 117 and dig in and see what I, I'm probably I'm missing out certain things, you know. You know, guys, okay, All right, let's go back to back. Chloroquine treatment for malaria and other ailments. Chloroquine. My memory of chloroquine is not beautiful, you know what I mean? It was a nasty injection of malaria. Very painful and uh, having a bout of malaria back then was like a death sentence, you know what? Fevers, shivers, you know. And uh, I remember we used to boil the injections. Get me right here, guys. Don't quote me wrong. <laughs> so, but that injection, the chloroquine injection, was my painful, innit? They used to, and you go home and rub the butt on your bum, innit? You know, even Museke Chupa Museke Chupa cold bottle. So that's it. That's an ugly experience, you know. So it's all, it's all in treatment of malaria. Malaria is, a, is just a tropical disease, isn't it? All right, George. Eh? Tropical diseases. If I'm to come to Uganda today, do you know what I have to go through? You know, personally, me personally, Kegus, you know, so I take care of my, my insurance would demand that I, I have all the inoculations. Anti-malaria. There are tablets called malorin, you know, those who already know these things. Malorin, one of the most expensive uh, anti-malaria, it's a, uh, you see, there are two tablets you take. I think each tablet is about 100 pounds. It's a lot of money, a lot of money. Malorin. So, we're talking of tropical diseases. So, another element. So, so in terms of health, you're talking of your well-being and probably fear. And, uh, you know, there's nothing to worry about than your health. The rest is pretty much, you can live in poverty probably, or you can accept poverty. Minus all the other circumstances lingering around. Mm. 
117 is the subject on the table Periton. For those who don't know Periton, Periton is an, I would call it an antihistamine, probably anti allergy. What I remember about Periton is when, uh, Suji, when you had a uh, probably nasty bite, a bee or whatever, but uh, I think it went further than that. It could do other things, you know. I'm not an expert in medication or medicine or uh, health. All I know... All right, Dad, so this filter is... All I know is... Uh, like. I'll go first. See all the adverts okay, in, my, in, 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 my, <laughs> in my blog. Vlog. So, you know, guys, let's have a conversation here. Feel free to listen and uh, comment. I'm sorry, if I was to do a live, it would be different, but I can't do lives because uh, it doesn't work for me. It wouldn't work for me. I would lose the mojo. I would lose the mojo. The mojo isn't there, you know, when I kind of, I can't sustain. I see guys who are doing that and uh, I give them the credit. The credit where it's due, you know, kind of uh, sustaining that kind of energy and uh, level of uh, engagement. The label given to dull teachers and students engaging in boring conversations at school by other students. So students are notorious with coming up with all these uh, kind of um, names, aliases, nicknames, and name AK also known as personally I told you my name Kegus was uh, made up by students senior one two it used to be called Kags then it became Kegu Kagu then the S when I was slider eh? then I you know just it all just mutated from there so why would students in this context uh, coin Puritan as a label on dull teachers and students. So there would be probably a reason why which we we leave out there hanging, you know. So if 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 if, if I'm a leader and I hear names being said about me, I'll probably ask myself, am I in trouble with the people? Are people not happy with me and uh, what I'm doing and uh, if I am a teacher because remember a teacher is a figure of authority in a school that's the context students are subjects to that you're subjected to the authority within the jurisdiction of the school are we together so figure that out and uh, many of the teachers probably knew they were being given names or the aliases and all that you know Stuff. But anyway, let's go back. I'm only doing one read and uh, we carry on uh, as we go along. So if I go back, it is uh, one, two, three, four. That is stanza two. renders the patient lethargic and sleepy. Obvious reasons for that, you know, it's all medication. So it is, it is very, very easy to be in a stupor or a slumber, probably under the influence of something. Are you drunk of love? Are you drunk of passion? Oh, you're under the influence of medication. But most medication anyway has that side effect. Anyway, let's, let's just get that out of the table. So, I'll keep it brief for starters. It's page 117, guys. Go refer to that. Those who have the book, you're with me. We are together. And uh, I think we're beginning a journey here. Let us see. How many, how many, how many pages we got? It's 
quite a big raid, you know. So if we carry on weekly, weekly, you know, having a conversation, we, we shall get far, you know. Learn something. Uh, that won't mean that you you're gonna miss out on the stories, you know, the love stories. Oh, those are those are always in the backlog. This, this but the moment is now. And you know, some routine, morning routine. You know, people are wanting to hear Kegu you know, say what he has to say about the book. I don't claim to have any authority. But I have the credibility, you know, that uh, I, can, I, can, I can understand what I can read. I'm not putting in things that are not palatable because this is not a, <laughs> this is not a political book. This, this is not a political book. It's just about, about tales. Hey, no, 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 I can into a bit of politics. Which politics? There's no politics. I have a degree in international politics, but that's not how it works. I don't roll like that, you know, you know. International public law degree, economics. So binge. So those are those are subjects outside this book. But in reference to this book, you can weave things along the way. Loose things, you know. Tight, tighten the bolts, you know what I mean? So, in summary, let's get this out of the way now. The memories come alive when he rambles on in his addresses and uh, his press conferences about my army, my oil. I think this is the president of the republic. That would be the highest level of command of authority. So who owns an army definitely to be eh? the commander in chief. I don't have an army, you don't have an army, so it's always gonna be the president of a country, not the president of a company. <laughs> you uh, you guys are gonna say ah hey say I think you're the president of your company. <laughs> Which company? Uh, maybe you know what probably a CEO chief executive officer do you think i have a company don't ask me questions but anyway the book about ugandan tells now this 117 page puritan i think is about a situation where i think the head of the state it could be anyone don't put things where they don't belong it could be anyone as president, but dealing with a conundrum of Puritan. You could, you could be leading a country with rogues. People are not like following the law. They are not up to the law, abiding by the law. So what do you do? Do you enforce the law? How do we enforce the law? Or do you, you know, these are questions that are outside the box. They are pretty much high stakes here, you know what? So, in summary, in brief, the situation in context is if I sick. <laughs> eh, I want to know what day. Probably, why now? Why no kujanjava? Why no kuvera kudagala? And why no kwefa ko? Nenga balwa de. But you know, being sick, sickly, ill, ailments, ailments, and everything becomes dull and it brings back memories alive. So, if you reread the book in reference to page 117, you'll pretty much be very comfortable with uh, your own version of understanding. And then, uh, this is my own version, my own spin. I told you I'm gonna be dropping in, you know, whatever I think. So this is all about politics, it's all about economics, it's all about law. But we might dig deep 
deeper than this, you know. I've seen some some poems here that are pretty much uh, up there, you know. They're up there. So, but I'm struggling here because if now I, I, I'm, I'm dealing with a hundred people with a book and I'm assured that once they see the video and then they say, ah, okay, chagamba to chinaba. All right, buddy, cool, yeah. All right, then, yeah. And then uh, we are good. So I sign out, I check out. Uh, uh, we're going to do tomorrow's take. I might be in on location somewhere. <laughs> somewhere, not like this, you know. I'm just from my run, but explaining to this to Victor, I said, but in anyway, you can do the conversation. Wouldn't mind if you are out jogging, it's okay. But your input, Kegus, is is the tip of the iceberg, you know. Okay. All right. I love you. As ever, Kegus and the conversation on the Ugandan tales. That's the book. And uh, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. You can go Google, search, buy it, and then uh, you get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's switch off.